people aren't afraid of the test. They're not afraid of the pressure that are on the kids. What parents are afraid of and kids is failure. That's what, so you can say the 11 plus is a bad thing, we get rid of it, you just simply replace it with something else. Look, I mean, our kids have been going through tests for, for a few generations at least, and I don't meet adults who come to me and say, Do you know, I'm traumatised by taking tests. If you ever hear of somebody who's upset about their 11 plus experiences because they failed and they felt they ended up in the wrong school. And I do think there's a hysteria going on with this template that parents can download to withdraw their kids from tests. I, if there's a problem with SATS testing, it's not sitting there for a few hours in year six taking tests. It's actually that parents are being stoked up into a sort of frenzy of thinking that they have to prepare their children for months beforehand with workbooks and tutoring. And that shouldn't be necessary. Yeah, but they do, That's because the problem, if you don't prepare tests. your children, other people prepare their children, which gives them an unfair yeah, advantage. It's like an yeah. arms race. But I think if, mm -hmm. you know, if teachers are firmer and say, look, you know, schools are firmer, and the head teacher says, you do not need to prepare for these tests, and hopefully you can take away some of that pressure on children. Well, they do, Sarah. There are problems with it, aren't they? I mean, Darcy are... last year mm -hmm. sat her sats, and a big chunk of it hadn't even been taught her yet, because she did at the beginning of May, and the syllabus was going on through to the end of July. And, and I have to completely disagree. It is not just one or two hours uh, or one week. It affects the whole of primary school. There's so much preparation. There are so many subjects that don't get taught. There is uh, a lack of art and, and science and the creative what subjects. What having fun at school? Exactly. Enjoying the education experience? Exactly. And, and if you look at the figures for mental health, we see children as young as three self-harming and there has been a massive spike in this. So, so we have reached a crisis. Is there something particular wrong with these SATs or is it the principle of testing because I didn't do SATs I didn't really enjoy doing tests either isn't it that we all don't really like being tested because we know we're going to get a grade we uh, we test all the time I'm a teacher I'm, I'm also a parent of two children and I think what parents are worried about now is not that children come out of school with a, a result or go to university, it's about coming out with their mental health intact and that is a bit of a, a, sorry, a sorry state for our schools to be in and we do have to change this because the tests are not useful for schools, they're not useful for teachers, in fact most secondary schools retest well, the why children. Are doing them? Why are we doing them? Who are we doing because them Because the for? government wants to do them in order to rank schools, we are on performance related pay as teachers, it's a tick because, box exercise. That was because I mean, maybe it's worked out not very well, but it was brought in, wasn't it, from a spirit of let's try and monitor the quality of teaching. Some teaching's good here, some teaching's bad there. Let's try and standardise it. Let's see what kids are being taught. That was the impulse mm. and initially. I think parents find the idea of looking at SATs tables, rightly or wrongly, they find that quite useful when they're looking at which school they might apply for well, for their child. Well, that's why teachers are stressed that's, about it, because yes. the schools know because their school is going to be judged. Yes. And but what you're judged on is your ability to cram for mm. a test not your ability to, to, to bring out the best for mm. our children. And I think when you see the, the stats for mental health and teacher turnover, the, the worst thing you want as a parent is for teacher turnover to be so high that your kids don't know who's yes. going to be teaching them next year. So, and, so yeah. you see this withdrawal thing we're talking about mm -hmm. there. What, what purpose does that serve? So if you withdraw your child from SATs, is the idea you educate them at home or you opt out of the system? I think it, the letter is just about not doing the SATs in that week. I so, believe you're allowed to do that. Well, this is new uh, information that's come out this week, isn't it, from, from one of the government ministers. Um, so I think a lot of parents will be taking up that, mm -hmm. that offer and They'll saying... They'll be withdrawing and then they appeal. The other great thing they do, which is a whole industry, is to appeal against the grade that, that you mm -hmm. get. I mean, could, couldn't possibly... Mm -hmm. My little <laughs> Jimmy couldn't possibly have got that grade. Let's appeal. He has special conditions, special needs. Mm -hmm. I found the SATs um, scores quite useful though because when my son was at primary school we had two really really short parents evenings a year and then a report at the end of the year that got every year it got more and more not bland about children necessarily themselves but the information we were getting was so pointless and and you know he's met, met objectives for the year it meant nothing so actually I found the SATs information that we got the SATs scores really nice to have because it did gave me an idea well of how he did he did reasonably well I mean I don't think that 
uh, I think it would have been just as useful to know if he hadn't mm. done well and then I could have looked at what he'd need to change for secondary school but all it teachers, gets used to all tests as well can tell you where where your children are doing well and where they're not doing well these scores actually they're not accurate they're not useful information they mm. are a, a score of where you have uh, ratcheted up the pressure and and can children pass under that pressure and if you remember when Nick Gibb was on the, on the mm. uh, program and had to be asked a times tables t uh, question and he said I can't do mm. it under pressure mm. that is precisely the point. Well,